welcome in the series of cyber security this side is Fina and today I will discuss about is your organization or you are ready for uh, fighting against advanced persistent threats so guys like the video and share with your friends so then they can also be able to understand what is advanced persistent threat and what steps they can take to secure their network their devices their organizations against advanced persistent threats okay so let's start today's session in 21 months 17 times attack happened on infotrack systems and they didn't knew about they didn't what was that attack or was that any kind of attack no security devices were capable or able to detect that attack and they just come to know about that attack happened when no free space available to save their data on their server so isn't it so pathetic advanced persistent threats are working in a way so that they can invade themselves from security devices or the security services which we are using okay according to IBM average security breach is estimated to organization is 3.92 million dollars it's a huge it's a big okay so what kind of steps which we can use uh, to secure our organizations against APT that's advanced persistent threats okay each and every device generating some loads so there should be a, some proper way or proper method to just analyze it to read it or we should uh, have some system which can present the data in a readable format because that's very boring just to see so many logs so it's just uh, some type of graphs some type of uh, pictorial representation some kind of report should be generated by the logs okay time to time we should run a kind of service which can simulate the breach and attack on our system simulated environment okay because those are not actual attack that's a simulated it will just tell us what is the security status of our organization what policies what security features we are implementing all all performing uh, whatever we are expecting those or not how secure it is from the advanced threats okay increase vigilance so that uh, time to time you just you come to know what is happening on your devices okay and we need to adopt enterprise grade security in a different layers on defense in depth with the different different protocols with the different different methods we should use okay and most important thing keep your system and apps updated because hackers are finding vulnerabilities in on different different even very high profile uh, apps or operating system they are finding the vulnerabilities so every vendors they are uh, advertising or they are uh, publishing the patches for the vulnerabilities so if we don't install those updates time to time as early as quickly it's in the market just update it because if your system is not passed properly it's uh, attacker can attack on you and they they can damage you a lot okay and the weakest part of the security system is the human so we can make them 
very strong power with the help of the pen each and uh, security is not the concern of only uh, the it team or the security team it is the responsibility for everyone so if just we come to know or just be aware of if that attack will happen and it will damage a lot to our organization and even to at personal level definitely then we can save uh, our systems or we will be more uh, vulnerable to uh, or just uh, more excited or more educated to secure our systems clear and uh, security is an investment we should not think like if we are implementing security things security feature security devices it's an uh, kind of wastage no it's an investment because it will save us from lot many troubles from just uh, a attack can damage financially it can damage the reputation of the company okay and lot of things it can damage to us so guys is your system up to date your organization up to date or ready against those attacks just check with these uh, parameters if they are using or not okay and simulated environment for the attack it's simulate one of uh, the service we can say it just perform number of attacks on your system on your organization to check it how strong the security system you have implemented okay on different different attack they will perform on different different level and they will also present you the report so that you can see how secure is our system okay and this report will help we to understand where is the weak point and what security measures we should use to patch up or just to make that weak point as a strong point okay so guys there are different ways attackers can hack your systems hack your organizations and there are definitely different ways you can save it okay so just to secure just to becoming a security guy we should also not should must know how the hackers are thinking if we are capable to think like a hackers definitely we can secure our organizations can secure our personal data okay so what to know more about ethical hacking go on luminousindia.com slash go ehm and find the lot of information related to ethical hacking masterclass okay guys you can also follow me on cyber security prism so that facebook will send you the notification about the next session okay so and in guys also like this video and share with your friends so that they can also be benefited related to that information and they will also be able to receive the uh, information related to other videos okay in the next session i will discuss about how ethical hackers or ethical hacking can make you a better programmer if you are thinking you want to become a programmer how ethical hacking can also help you so for the timing time being stay safe namaste see you in the next session